Hi, I'm Allie, and this is my cat, Vigo. We are going to take you on an adventure in art. Artists explore animals through art in many ways. In the French composer Camille Saint-Saëns' musical suite, The Carnival of Animals, he uses each musical movement to represent a different animal. You are hearing the introduction and royal march of the lion. T.S. Eliot wrote a collection of poems playfully bringing to life the behavior of cats. One of them reminds me of a cat I know. The Rum Tum Tugger is a curious cat. If you offer him pheasant, he would rather have grouse. If you put him in a house, he would much prefer a flat. If you put him in a flat, then he'd rather have a house. We are going to use movement and our imaginations to take a trip inside this painting. The title of this painting is The Two Majesties. Majesty means impressive beauty or dignity. Who do you think the two majesties are? One of them is the lion sitting on the rock. I think he looks strong and dignified. Find a space in your room to sit like the lion. Try sitting on your heels while you put your hands in the ground in front of you. Stretch your spine long and tall and look out over your home. Imagine the sprawling savanna in front of you. Take a deep breath and smell the dry air. Can you see the water at the edge of the horizon? Let's go get a drink. Lions walk on all fours using one foot at a time. Front, back, front, back, ba-dum, ba-dum. Try to climb down the side of the rock face. Is it so smooth you slide? Do you have to jump down? Once you've landed in the sand below, imagine what it feels like. The African sun can be quite hot. Maybe those patches of grass ahead will be cooler. As you make your way to the grass, notice how you are moving your paws. Lions use the joints in their front paws much like humans use their ankles. Try to roll through your hand from palm to fingertip each time you step. When you've made it to the grass, take a moment to lie down and feel the grass on your back. Is it itchy or is it soft? As you lay relaxing in the long grass, feeling the setting sun warming your fur, you suddenly hear a rustling sound. Spring up to your feet. Crouch back into your hind legs. Bend your elbows to stay low and stalk silently through the grass, listening for a sound. You hear a noise again coming from the grass ahead of you. Freeze in your tracks and get ready to pounce. There's the sound again. Using your hind legs to push you forward, leap outstretched in the direction of the noise. What did you catch? I caught Vigo, but I think I'm going to let him go. The sun is setting quickly, so we'd better make our way to the watering hole. After that long journey, the water will be refreshing. When you find yourself at the water's edge, tuck your legs under you and lower yourself down for a drink. Take one last look at the setting sun. Would you say it looks beautiful? Or majestic? The sun must be the second majesty. What colors do you see on the horizon? Lions see fewer colors than humans do, so while you might see shades of reds, purples, pinks, and oranges, a lion sees mainly in blues and greens. Lions do see much better in the dark than we do, though, so we'd better get out of this painting before the sun sets. Come on, Vigo!